Dodge, you want a dime a dozen ain't to be had at all. The streets are full of guys pushing each other. New Mexico? Why, sure there is. Not ten days from here, Berea and Pack Train is a mountain waiting for the right guy to come along, discover a treasure, and then tickle it, which lets them have it. The question is, are the right guy? <laughs> uh, real bonanzas are few and far between. They take a lot of finding. Say, answer me this one, will you? Why is gold worth some 20 bucks an ounce? I don't know, because it's scarce. A thousand men say go searching for gold. After six months, one of them's lucky. One out of the thousand. His find represents not only his own labor, but that of 999 others to boot. That's uh, 6,000 months or 500 years, scrabbling over mountains, going hungry and thirsty. Now, it's a gold, mister, is worth what it is because of the human labor that went into the finding and the getting of it. Never thought of it just like that. Well, there's no other explanation, mister. Gold and stuff ain't good for nothing except for making jewelry with gold teeth. <laughs> ah, gold's a devilish sort of a thing anyway. You start out, you tell yourself you'd be satisfied with 25,000 handsome smaggers worth of it. So help my Lord and cross my heart. Fine resolution. <laughs> After months of sweating yourself dizzy and growing short on provisions and finding nothing, you finally come down to 15,000, then 10. Finally, you say, Lord, let me just find $5,000 worth and never ask for anything more the rest of my life. $5,000 is a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, here in this joint seems like a lot, but I tell you, if it was to make a real strike, you couldn't be dragged away. Not even the threat of miserable death would keep you from trying to add 10,000 more. 10, you'd want to get 25, 25, you'd want to get 50, 50, 100, like roulette. One more turn, you know, always one more. <laughs> It wouldn't be that way with me. I swear it wouldn't. I take only what I set out to get. Even if there's still a half a million dollars worth lying around waiting to be picked up. I've dug in Alaska and Canada and Colorado. I was with the crowd in the British Honduras where it made my fare back home and almost enough over to cure me of the fever I'd caught. Dug in California and Australia, all over the world practically. <laughs> yeah, I know what gold does to men's souls. You talk as though you struck it rich sometime or other, Pop. How about it? And what are you doing in here, a down and outer? That's the gold. That's what it makes of us. Never knew a prospector yet that died rich. Make one fortune, sure to blow it in trying to find another. I'm no exception to the rule. <laughs> ah, sure, I'm an odd old bone now, but say, don't you guys think the spirit's gone? I'm all set to shoulder a pickaxe and a shovel any time anybody's willing to share expenses. Rather go by myself. Going it alone's the best way. But you gotta have a stomach for loneliness. Some guys go nutty with it. On the other hand, going to the partner, too, is dangerous. Murder's always lurking about. Partners accusing each other of all sorts of crimes. <laughs> uh, as long as there's no find, the noble brotherhood will last. But when the piles of gold begin to grow, that's when the trouble starts. Me, now, I wouldn't mind a little of that kind of trouble. Uh, I think I'll go to sleep and dream about piles of gold getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you believe what that old man who was doing all the talking at the Oso Negro said the other night about gold changing a man's soul so he ain't the same kind of a guy as he was before finding it? Guess it all depends on the man. Well, that's exactly what I say. Gold don't carry any curse with it. It all depends on whether or not the guy who finds it is the right guy. The way I see it, gold can be as much of a blessing as a curse. Hey, uh, Dobsey. Yeah? Look who's coming out of the Hotel Bristol. Is that Pat McCormick or am I seeing things? <laughs>